This is the November 2021 CAT or Computer Application Technology Prac Exam or Paper 1 for Grade 12 for the National Senior Certificate, the Final Matric Exam. And we are doing Question 4, which is the last Excel question of this paper. So we're back with Excel questions and you can read those notes. We're very similar to what we did in the previous one. And so let's go straight into the spreadsheet for A and look at the quality worksheet. So we're going to have opened it up already and make sure that we're on the quality worksheet, which is what we are. 4.1, insert a function in D3 to determine the second smallest air quality index AQR count per year, column E. So D4, and we're looking in column E. So let's go here. So D4, so there we go. That's the question for one. And we're looking at column E. So looking at this, we're looking for the second smallest value. So if it was the smallest, we would use the min function. But yeah, we're using the second smallest. So that would be the small function because then we can specify the first or the second or the third smallest. First, where is the data? Data. We're looking at this column E data. So let's go select all of it all the way to the bottom. I don't know how long it's going to go. There it is. It goes till 153. Take note of it. And I'm going back to the top. So we want that particular cell reference. And then which number we want to find the first or the second or the third small. We want the second smallest. So I'm going to put a two there to find the second smallest value. So there we go. So 20 is the second smallest value. Now, 4.2, add the option urban to the existing validation rule. This is interesting to sell B7 under the list J7 to J8. So B7, but the list is in J7 to J8. So let's have a look at what we're looking at here. So B7 over there, you'll notice there's a drop down list box of options and those options come from J7 to J8. But you'll notice that it's just got rural and it does not have or include urban. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to go to the data sheet which I'm at already so go to the data sheet and you need to go to data validation so we've clicked on that cell let's go to data validation it might spell it out but because my version is a little bit cramped I think it's that one but there we go there's the data validation so if I select this one so what's the data validation for this cell and it tells me that it's a list and there's the source but we want more than just J7 we want J7 and J8 so I've just included both of them so now when I click OK if you come over here you'll notice that both options are available for that particular cell. So that's a data validation question. 4.3 the measuring station is given a risk rating depending on the AQR level in column F. So L1 would be a one exclamation mark. So there's a L1. Insert a combination of text functions in G7 to display the number of exclamation marks based on the AQR level. Hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. So we're using D4, they say. We want to put in G7 and we're looking at F, G7, F and D4. Okay, so let's go look at that. So we're looking at this particular block and that has to be based off of the F. L2 means we want two exclamations. L1 means we want one exclamation. L3 means we want three. And they've said use D4. Oh, D4. They've given us a block of exclamation marks. Hmm, that's interesting. There are five of them. I think it does it go up to L5. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not too sure. But let's, let's just work here. So how do I find? I just need to, I don't worry about the L. I just need that number at the back. So let's let's work. How do I get that number at the back? That That is copying from the, not from the left, but from the right. So equals right and we copy in this block and we copy in for one character so do you see that's a two so we can get all those numbers if we wanted to that's great okay so now if there's two then we want two exclamations if it's a one we want one how are we going to do this ah oh, what happens if we copy if we want two that means we only want to copy the first two of this if it's one we just want to copy the first one if it's three we're going to copy the first three so we copy in from the left so we want the left of this row or this block and that's going to tell me how many characters we want to copy so i'm going to use a left left function so left we want to copy from d4 how many characters do we want to copy we want to copy whatever this is two so let's try it see what it does there we go it put two exclamation marks in if i drag it down okay why is it not copy? Oh, it puts absolute cell referencing on d4 let's do that absolute cell referencing on d4 so if i click on this click on there and put f4 so there's cell referencing there there we go oh no, no. d4 undo put f4 there we go and if i scroll it down now there we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Obviously, it didn't do these because I haven't done these ones over here. But if I did them, you can see. So there's four exclamations. There's three. There's two. There we go. I think that's quite fancy. You could also, as I say, I used building blocks there. So we could use the right of F. 
seven in one we could use that in our formula instead of that little building block so you could have had something that looked like that so copy from the left of the cell uh, how many characters from the right of f7 for one character that's one way of doing it another way i don't know if you know this but there is a repeat function called l r e p t and you can repeat text so we want to repeat the exclamation mark how many times well you could use that formula of working out that one you could also use something like that that would also worked as well i think they would have accepted that as well so that's the way that you could do that question that's quite quite a nifty little way of doing it okay we must set the print area for a6 to h40 so we're going to select it so a6 a6 there's a6 to h40 so let's come home so we can see i'm going to go to h40 so go to h go all the way down to 40 h40 so there it is so we can see it's a6 to h40 and we're going to come here to page layout i think it'll be over here and there's print area and we're going to set that print area so if we come here to the page setup and we go to sheet you'll see that the print area is set to a6 to h40 so you could have also done it over here if you had clicked on that and then selected the area that was another way of doing it if you just go there set page setup go to sheet and you can set the print area there as well that's another way of doing it okay and then the last question work in the graph worksheet so let's go straight away to the graph worksheet i'm going to click on there in the graph worksheet and they want i assume you're going to want to work in that block on h2 there we go h2 use a sum if function in h2 and the data in the quality worksheet okay so we're going to work in cross worksheet to determine the total number of health incidents of all the stations in the eastern cape of 2018 so we want eastern cape 2018 the total health incidents so that's what we're going to put in that block so let's go first determine how we're going to do this okay so we want all the health incidents so there's the health incidents we want total health incidents for all those that say eastern cape and 20 2018 so there we go so that would have been one so if i did this on paper just think about this if i was doing this on paper i would first look over here for eastern cape and if i find eastern cape then i would look over here for 2018 and if i found a match for both of them eastern cape 2018 i would then take that number and add it on a piece of paper and then i would carry on further down and go oh there's eastern cape but that's not 2018 so i come down so do you see what we're doing with paper if we were doing this on paper there's east cape no we would that's how we would do it and every time we found eastern cape 2018 we would add that number so we are looking here first for eastern cape and we are looking here for 2018 and if those are true then we want to sum this column so this is a sum if but there are multiple conditions so this is a sum ifs so in this block we're going to say equals sum ifs and we're going to move here to the quality worksheet and we first we can look at the sum range what are we summing well we're going to sum these values first so i'm selecting my sum range first because that's the first criteria if it was a normal sum if that would be at the back but because it's a sum ifs that asks for the sum first so let's go all the way all the way to the bottom so there we go so let's take note it's 153 just to make my life easier so we are summing the h column sum that column and then we have our first criteria range our first range is this block up until and we know it's 153 so i'm just going to type it in 153 that block if we're looking in the c column in the c criteria this column what are we looking for we're looking for the c column for the word eastern cape so i'm going to type in the word eastern cape but remember our criteria must be in double quotes so recap sum the h column if the c column has eastern cape comma but we don't just want eastern cape we also want the which column this column over here which is the d column which goes from d7 until d153 that column we're looking for the criteria of 2018 so let's just double check this quickly so it's 7 to 153 7 to 153 7 to 153 so they all the ranges all meet we want to sum the h column if we find a match in the c column saying eastern cape and the d column saying 2018 if the, both of those are true sum the h column let's try and see if that works and there we go i think it seems to be working okay so let's look at the i think the final question let's go down to the final question okay so it's a graph question create a graph or chart they're literally just giving us a diagram and we must replicate this so we're looking at the health incidents in 2016 for each province and we are in currently in the graph so i'm assuming we're going to look at the provinces and we want 2016 so that's the data so i'm going to select this data let's just look at the headings there's no headings and that on it so let's go and just select the data 
there the province names and we want 2016 so now if i select all of that data that's annoying because we don't want those years we just want 2016 so i'm going to select the the headings here press control and select 2016's values that's how i can select data that's separated that's on different parts and we want to come here to insert and we want a particular chart that's what type of chart is this this looks like a bar chart if we come here to the different charts we can look over here we want bar chart so there we go a 2d bar chart i think it was a 2d bar chart so let's go click on that one so there we go so we've got a bar chart okay there we go mm, the data is not in the correct order order that's the first thing that i'll notice you'll notice that eastern cape should be at the top or so it must be from smallest to bigger so we want to sort this data actually so let's sort this data by the 2016 from smallest to bigger so let's do this i'm going to first of all sort of that data so there's the sort custom sort we want to sort by our data does have headings we want to sort by 2016 in ascending orders from smallest to largest let's try that okay but we want it the other way around so let's make it descending order if i make it largest to biggest there we go so now we've got eastern cape at the top and western cape at the bottom that seems to be a little bit better our heading there is health incidences in 2016 so let's go change that health incidents so we make sure that we change health incidents in 2016. So we've got our heading. Uh, let's go 0, 2000, 4000 up in 2000. So let's see, does that match there? That seems to match. And it's got the correct order. The only difference is we've got the actual values, but it's on the outside. So if we come to our chart, we probably want to add data labels. So let's go, oh, we want data labels. And where do we want them? So we click on the arrow. We want them on the, not inside end, but outside end so that they end like that okay so let's have a look so does it look like ours looking pretty close i think it's pretty much spot on so there we go i think we got our values and does it say anything about where we must save it or must we leave it we just leave it there it doesn't say put it into a new chart but there it seems to be so if it was you could click on it and you can obviously come to your chart design and move it to another area maybe to another sheet but there we go i think we've got it correct and that is question four we'll now move on to our next video where we'll do question five the database access question Links to data files and other videos can be found in the video description. For help with theory, go to our other channel called Mr. Long Computer Terms. Click that subscribe button or follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.